Hello, this is Mr. Stansbury. I'm going to take you through the nine A notes on relations and functions. Okay, so at the end of this, you should be able to um, say that I can tell the difference between a relation and a function, and also that I can determine if a relation is a function. Okay, so um, what we're going to let's start here with some uh, information here. So a relation is a relationship between two different variables okay so for example miles per hour is a relation this is a relationship showing how far you can travel in a given amount of time so you know for example how many miles you can travel in one hour is miles per hour okay so that's a relation um, a relation can be represented as a set of points on the Cartesian plane okay and, and again the Cartesian plane is um, just simply the uh, x y uh, axis, okay? Well, the x and y plane. All right. So, with that, um, a relation is often expressed as an equation um, connecting x and y. So, for example, y equals two x minus seven is a relation, and then x equals two, excuse me, y squared plus one is also can also be considered a relation. Okay. Um, and then some expressions can't actually be expressed as an equation for example if you had all these data points here that can't be expressed as one straight line okay so with that let's uh, take a look at some stuff here all right so um, a function is a relation where each x has only one y okay so for function this one here is an example of a function two three four 5 and 0, 3. Every x here only has one different y. There is there are there is one y that has two different x's, but that's okay. Okay. So for example, um, you can travel 40 miles in 70 minutes, and you can also travel 40 miles in 100 minutes, say if you had stopped on the side of the road. So again, the uh, 40 here is actually talking about the the y and then the uh, the minutes here are considered to be the X okay because you know it's usually miles per minute so that's um, a slope and if you have say miles per minute it's always rise over run which is always the Y over the X okay so this is again just to kind of help you you know see what's going on here um, a non-function would be 7, 4, 2, 3, and 7, 0, because if you'll notice, this x here, 7, has two different y's. Okay, so that can't actually work. That's not a function. The way you can uh, look at that is you could travel 30 miles in 50 minutes, um, and then you're also saying that you could travel 40 miles in 50 minutes, and then we know that that's not true because you're either... Um, like once you've traveled 30 miles in 15 minutes, you're not going to magically travel another uh, 10 miles in no time. So that can't work. Okay, so that's an example of a non-function. So again, each x has only one y. Now uh, I'm going to give you a different example. I don't mean to offend anyone, so please don't uh, please don't take this the wrong way. But I've I've heard some people explain this as um, like. Uh, marriage in Utah. Um, marriage in Utah, um, I believe it used to be that um, men could marry uh, more than, have more than one wife, but uh, women could not have more than one husband. So um, you think about that and um, each X, that would stand for the uh, woman, can only have one husband. Okay, but um, some husbands can have more than one wife, so that's another uh, not great example, but it kind of at least gets the, the point driven home. So um, anyway, one last thing to look at is this. Which of the following here are functions? Okay, So again, we're only um, an x can only have one y would mean if there's any spot on here where you have an x value that has two different y's, that would be not a function. So the easiest way to do that is to use what we call the vertical line test. So what you need is just a straight line here and you take it and you 
run it usually left to right on that and if at any point on this graph two different points hit the graph on the same vertical line then that means it's not a function so this one here passes the vertical line test okay so a is indeed this one is a function so function oops now I can't use, move that let's try that again so a is a function we'll just have to remember that B again I take this vertical line here and it's good it's good it's good it's good there's no two points on that same vertical line so B is also a function and then on C there's lots of points here where you have the same two uh, points you have two different points on the same X pretty much all of those knows how it touches two spots on there so for example it touches here and here at the same time so this one is not function not a function so this is fun this one's fun and this one's not fun alright so uh, that's all there is on that um, you should now be able to say that you can tell the difference between a relation and a function and then also you can determine if a relation is a function alright if you have any questions please ask thanks